Hello, and welcome to today's video of Semiconductor Materials, where today, we will be covering doping bands. To start off, we can define dopants to be the addition of impurity atoms to semiconductors in order to control the number of holes or electrons. So knowing this, we can define semiconductors into two different categories. We can categorize semiconductors to be either intrinsic or extrinsic. And so intrinsic is when the semiconductor is pure, and extrinsic is when it is doped. And from our definition, we know that it is impure atoms added. Let's go ahead and further explain what this means. So we can recall from previous videos that we have our energy bands where our top band is conduction, which is typically full of electrons, and we have our valence band, which is typically full of holes. And we can remember from our previous video that when temperature is at zero Kelvin, our conduction band is empty, and our valence band is full, where there are no more holes, and conduction has no more free electrons. But we can take this one step further, and so if we have electrons that are right below the conduction band, We need to raise the temperature in order for these electrons to enter the conduction band. So in order for this to happen, our temperature needs to be about room temperature, which is around 295 degrees Kelvin. This would then be considered as a donor band. And so now looking at the right hand side, again at temperature is equal to zero degrees Kelvin, our conduction band is empty and our valence band is full of electrons. Now, if we were to say that we have an element that is full of holes right above the valence band, we now need to raise our temperature in order to have these electrons become accepting for the other element and so they need to be an energy great enough for these electrons to jump into these holes. So again, this can happen at around room temperature, which is 295 degrees Kelvin. So now in our valence band, we have holes, which is our positive charge. And then going back to our donors, we now have negative charges in our conduction band. So a good way to remember both of these different bands is that for donors, they are giving away their electrons. And so whenever you give away, you have less of, so you're subtracting. And for acceptor bands, they are accepting the electrons. So whenever you accept something you have more of, which is addition. This concludes our video on doping bands. Thank you for watching.